After taking a hit on the field, doctors worried he might not even make it through the night. That was last month when 15-year-old Brett Green Jr. took a hit to his temple, causing serious brain injury. But tonight, he's out of ICU in rehab, and he is working to go home in just a few weeks. He spoke to Fox News' Richard Ray, who joins us from Cook Children's Medical Center in Fort Worth. Good evening, Rich. Hi, Clarice. From frightening injury to remarkable recovery, Brett Green really is a talented young man, and he's determined now to get well and use those talents. Brett Green has left intensive care at JPS Hospital, transferred to Cook Children's, where he's doing several hours of rehab every day. He still has some weakness on his left side, trouble with his eyesight that has him wearing a patch. When I lift it up and I look out of both eyes, it, it looks like everything's like kind of like colliding together. But Brett's recovery from a serious brain injury continues to astound. He was playing in a seven-on-seven -seven tournament May 26 for his Arlington Lamar team. He went up for an interception, collided with a teammate. When first responders got him to a hospital, he was totally unresponsive. His parents were told he might not make it through the night, but he woke up a day later. I don't remember anything. I just remember what people told me. They told me that we were going up for an interception and his shoulder hit me in midair. And then I guess I fell down and I hit my head really hard on the ground. Doctors are telling the family now that two or three weeks of therapy and Brett can go home. Just keep going through everything that got me going through so I can get back as soon as possible. Brett fully expects to run track again, but if his mother has her way, football won't be in his future. She doesn't really want me to play anymore. <laughs> Brett is a talented musician, first chair violin at school and self-taught piano player. It's Though he was hesitant to play for us because his left hand is still weak. The first night they told me he wasn't gonna make it, I said, nah, not my son. I know better than that. He's stronger than that. God has a plan for him. Brett says what's impressed him most is the support he's had from friends and family, especially his mother. Always been there, always supported me, even when I was wrong. And it just helped me realize, you know, I need to be better. I can be better, I will be better. Two or three more weeks here at Cook's Children's and then uh, outpatient therapy at home. Clarice, there is every indication now that Brett is going to make a full recovery.